that the value of time is also increasing yes so three four five so this means that this particular time the lady has spent inside hello guys and welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to work on calculating the dwell times of objects inside a frame so what we have been doing till now is that we have detected persons we have tracked the person we have also detected the faces but we haven't calculated the amount of the how much time the particular person was inside the frame which is actually known as dwell time so we are going to calculate the dwell time of the persons from our uh, test video file so how it will work is that in our test video file as soon as the person comes into the frame and they are detected our tracker will start tracking them and what we will do is we will start a timer alongside it which will keep on increasing the uh, total number of seconds uh, for that particular person and at the end we will get how much time that particular person was inside the frame so now, now let's start with this code and uh, I'm going to create a new file I will name it as dwell time calculation so this particular uh, code will remain same from our last video which is the person tracking file so I'll simply copy all this code and will paste it here so we are going to modify this particular code and we are going to include some of the list and the dictionaries and we will also start a timer for each persons who are um, detected so let's first initialize a dictionary so object id list so this is the list and this particular this list will contain all the object ids we have tracked or detected till now so all the object ids which our tracker has tracked we will keep all the list here in this particular list apart from this we are going to take a dictionary named dict d time which will hold the value of current date time for a particular person uh, last we have to take a dwell time dictionary and this dictionary will contain the dwell time of the person which is in which will be in seconds so for example two three four all this information is going to be in this particular dictionary now i'm assuming that till this particular video if you have been following all my videos you have got the basic understanding of how this complete code works so i'm not going to explain this code again and i'm going to directly start with my dwell time calculation so so in this particular uh, for loop if you remember we are uh, getting and we are displaying everything on our frame so somewhere here somewhere here i will uh, do my dwell time calculation part so what will happen is that we will first check whether our object id is present in the object id list or not if it is not present we will consider that that particular uh, object id is the first object id i mean it has been detected for the first time so for that let me just put a condition if object id not present in object id list so if it is not present we are assuming that this object id has been tracked for the first time so if it is the first time then we will simply add first of all we will add that object id in our uh, list and we will initialize the time for that object id so this will be date time dot date time dot now and we will also initialize the dwell time for this object id which is going to be which is going to be zero initially which is going to be zero initially now now for the second time what will happen it will go into the else condition and what we will do we will simply calculate the difference between this time the time here and the time which was previously uh, detected so first of all i will take current time this is my current time and I will also take the old time from the D time which we initialized here so D time object ID now I will simply calculate the time difference so time difference is equals to current time minus old time 
and what we will do now we need to uh, initialize our d time we will we need to set the d time with the current time so object id is equals to date time dot date time dot now and we here we will calculate the seconds total seconds from the time difference so time difference dot seconds and we will simply uh, we will simply add these seconds in our uh, in our dual time dictionary so plus equals to seconds so whatever time we have in our dual time we are adding that particular time uh, i mean we are adding the seconds to this particular time so now let's try to run this code from from the command prompt obviously we are using the open window environment so i will run python dual time calculation dot py and let's see if it works well or not so it has started and and this particular lady is coming we can see that oh so there is no time so we forgot to actually display the time values let me close this Yes, so somewhere here where we are displaying the text, we also need to display the time value. So let's take another. So here I will use dual time and object ID. Great. Now let's try to run this code again. So we can see that lady is coming. She has been uh, assigned a zero object ID and we can see the time also, but uh, for some reason, this time value is not increasing. Looks like we have a bug in our code. Oh my God. So we forgot. So this is the bug. So instead of seconds, we need to take total seconds, total seconds. Let's try to run the code again. Fingers crossed this time it should work perfectly fine. Yes, it is there and the lady is coming and we can see the time increasing. So you can see that the value of the time is getting increased, but this is also displaying the seconds and the sorry, the, it is also displaying the milliseconds. We don't want milliseconds. So let me just convert the value of dwell time into integer. So all the code I'm writing here, I'll uh, give you the link to download all this code in the description. So you can use this code as per your application and you can also modify this code. So now let's see this time it will work perfectly fine. And this lady is coming and we can see that the value of time is also increasing. Yes. So three, four, five. So this means that this particular time the lady has spent inside this frame. Now, once this lady will move out of the frame, this timer will automatically stop because there is no person. We don't need to count it. So this seems to be perfectly working fine. And uh, this is how you can calculate the dwell time. Now let's wait for uh, another two persons to come. So this lady is coming and a timer has been started for this particular lady and a separate timer has been started for this particular person as well. So you can see both the timers are working perfectly fine and the time is also getting increased. So in this way, we can uh, calculate the dwell time of any objects in the frame. So for this video, because we are going with the person detection, so I've just taken, uh, I'm just calculating the time for the person. But if you have any other object, let's say you're tracking a animal. So you can also calculate the time for that particular animal as well. So I hope through this video, uh, you've got the basic understanding of calculation, calculating the time. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.